Greetings, YouTubers, and thank you for once again joining me for 1953, KGB Unleashed. Without further ado, let us load from my previous game. You'll know from the last episode that I managed to go through two doors. Yes, and I've read a bunch of instructions as well. And here we are. It's like we never left. Gosh, that color scheme. Check it out. Here is the infernal door that I got stuck through on the last playthrough. And I'm now faced with a duo of challenges. I now have corridors to choose from. So, my orders, they are, well, I don't know what my orders are, to fix stuff. Safety instructions, job description, radio engineering magazine, and my pass. None of these are particularly useful right now. So. Okay, let's just... Comrade Nikolaev, the management of the Research Institute has decided to temporarily reassign you from the current project to perform emergency work at a strategic underground facility oh. of the Ministry of State Security. Okay. You'll receive your pass and all of your documents when you arrive. Got it. The equipment stopped working at 10 in the morning, and this can't wait. Today right. is an extremely important day, and we need everything ready by lunchtime. <sighs> I trust lunchtime. you understand the importance of completing this task. I understand the importance. I do not know why anybody is not speaking in mother tongue. Hmm. These gentlemen do not look particularly happy. Okay. So. Hmm. Well. Where do I go now? Let's go... This way. I haven't played this game before. You may have spotted this. Let's check out what's on here. Oh yes. Hunting the pixel. <gasps> Things! Invoice. Molotov Siberian Chemical Combine. USSR Ministry of State Security. I can pronounce none of these. Well, I can pronounce magnesium oxide. There we go. This looks fun. Doesn't say what the price is. Cool. So, um, let's have a look. Ooh, punch cards. <gasps> oh my god, I'm making so much progress. Except, whatever it was I just picked up. Ah, it's down here. Do, do, do. Card. Just a punch card. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's go down here. This exit looks uh, passable. I'm sure with the right tools and equipment I could get through here. Looks like there was an exit here. They've changed the layout. No, really. I need to search for another way up. Ugh. Such a butterfly. You could get through there. Come on! Pull yourself together, man. We got a box here. Uh, I'm so used to pressing E and being able to pick things up and hurl them around. Oh well. Which means no companions for me. So, what do? <gasps> The safe. It's a, it looks like a safe. I need a special key here. Oh, special key. I need a special key. Okay. Guessing a punch card won't do it. Right. Turning around. Oh, look. More information. Uh, great. Look, you know what to do. I'll just uh, hang around for a moment while you do that. Okay. Oh, this way. Da, da, da. Satire and humor. I, hmm. Ah, it's funny because death is playing a fool for sailor. Right. Let's see. Joint information day. Don't do drugs, kids. Okay, let's get out of here. Where to next? The conference hall? Right. Conference hall it is. Oh my god, a door that opened without special assistance. Right. Whoa. It looks like everyone was evacuated. And in a hurry. Aha, a radio. Ah, oh, this could be anything. The radio's working. Radio. Except for the range switch. The range switch. I need to find a small knob. Oh, oh I make funny joke. Comics! Yay! Ivan Petrovich carefully locked safe. 
the medicine is bitter, but is essential for health. He did not forget to lock the door, but he forgot to shut his mouth. Traces of crime. It's funny because he is terrible at his job. What's the program schedule for next week? On Monday, we have the Swan Lake Ballet. On Tuesday, the TV set usually breaks down. On Wednesday, we call a repairman. On Thursday, they have the day off at the television center. On Friday, the repairman comes. On Sunday, the repairman tinkers with the TV set for all day long. And then on Sunday, he checks the TV set. He checks how the TV set is working. And then it's Monday again. Huh, awesome. Have you heard, Harry? They have opened the Academy of Sciences in North Korea. Interesting. How can I get there? They said in that best multicultural getting along type way. Let's get out of here. That wasn't very funny at all. Let's go and look at here. Projector. Gosh. Aha! A pencil! Just what I want. Mind over matter. Publishing house of the USSR Academy of Sciences, Moscow, 1952. Bang up to date. I am not going to read this to you. You can read it yourself. Are you done? Fantastic. Not a moment to lose. I probably should be reading these things. Um, I might just take a moment to do that. Hang on a sec. Okay, and I'm back. So, let's keep hunting for things to click on. What is the date of today? Sunday, the 8th of March. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is the day that everyone scarped from the bunker. And I have also just realized that this isn't automatic. This is going to be the day that everyone buggered off. So, that doesn't help me at all. I could have been here for months, years. Oh God, what if the aliens have arrived already? Oh well, I shall make friends with them and I shall be their leader and take over their planet. Bound to be something in this closet. It's so... Yes. Oh. A strange closet. It is a very strange closet. You took the words right out of my mouth. Aha, work schedule for March 1953. Days of the week, all helpfully written in English. Days of the month and planned activities in places like Riga and Sevastopol, Warsaw, Kiev, Gdansk, Odessa, Bratislava, and Moscow, and Leningrad. Mm. How exciting! Ah, be still, my beating heart, this game. I mean, huzzah! For I am enjoying this very hearty game, full of intrigue and action and no amounts of clicking whatsoever. Okay, this thing is dying to be turned on. Uh, come on. Key. A very special key or just a regular key? We click the button. Hello? My telephone is making noises at me. Turn on, you son of a mother. This does not work whatsoever. <laughs> Excellent! Order number 32 to 53. Due to the incident that occurred on February the 2nd, 1953, laboratory staff are forbidden to carry any firearms or other weapons. Firearm use is permitted only in the shooting gallery. Senior Lieutenant, 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 that's a really hard word in Russian. Why the car? Why the car? Ah, because I like the car. Okay. To major IA and drive. Notification. The laboratory management persistently draws attention to the irrational use of reagents in the course of recent routine experiments. Due to negligence in the application, logging, and storage of chemicals, we have significantly overstocked these materials. As a result of such carelessness, expensive reagents are being kept outside in the corridor, making it difficult to walk through. Oh my god. The height of... Inconvenience. We have got too much stuff, and the stuff is preventing people from doing stuff. Oh, wow. They really had it hard. On the other hand, bandages and disinfectants are being used at an alarming rate. Also, there's a serious problem with the recording of the psych uh, reco recording of psychotropic drug application. This will need to be discussed at a special meeting. 
the individuals responsible for this state of affairs should prepare their warehouse ledgers and invoices for the upcoming uh, execution uh, audit. Laboratory head and body, Senior Lieutenant Y. D. K. This one has writing on. Filtration technicians will receive slides with the schematics of the air circuit. This is so boring. Oh my god. It's like they've deliberately gone out of their way to make my life a, m a living hell. Who needs monsters when you can be bored to death with information? Hang on a moment. I forgot the very important thing. I must salute the gentleman. What a dashing man he is. I am saluting presently. Okay. This is where I've taken a strategic point to just uh, play ahead for a little bit. Um, I've come back to our glorious leader here. I spent a good half an hour trying to figure out what to do next. And it turns out that the radio needs to be tuned to a specific channel. But you can't just stumble across it. No, no, no. You need to find the document that tells you to listen to this channel. So, without further ado, I shall now explain the proceedings. Firstly, uh, there is a particular frequency we need to hit, which I is... I remember I saw you before. I've uh, seen you somewhere. Come on. I don't understand yet why you're here so deep. Creepy disembodied voice. What the real reason is, it's unclear. But you must understand that you won't manage without my help. So you'll have to be patient and listen. It's interesting to watch people like you. I can probably tell you a thing or two about this place. Don't expect any explanations. Such as, how are you watching me? You have to look me? for answers yourself. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, okay, yeah. The disembodied voice on the radio, not the radio. The intercom. How exciting. This bit takes a while. Come on. You can do it. What was that? <laughs> Someone just talked to me over the loudspeaker. Oh my god. Hey, Statement can you of hear the me? obvious. Are you talking to me? No. I just want to get out of here. I have futuristic CCTV. And if I go over here to the information board, you will see uh, the plan for the research department's political and ideological work, the name, the time, the place, and so on. But over uh, here, from February 2nd of June 29th, the radio broadcasts of the Political Review will be transmitted in the frequency range 568476. 568476. Of course, because I can remember that amount of information. And then we go to a radio. Turn on. There we go. Pick up. Ah. This is... Oh. BBC News at one o'clock. This is... Uh, whatever my name is. Gleb Ivanovich. The BBC World Service now broadcasting in Moscow. So, considering the fact that it is the 8th of March, I assume, uh, what's your draw? Uh, okay, as it was Sunday the 8th of March, this is really confusing, but that would mean I need to tune the radio into Novoskibersk. Novoskibersk. No. Yeah, that one. So, if we go back to here, we can find Novoskibersk. Novoskibersk, it's on here somewhere. Quite like this radio should be in Bioshock. Sevastopol. Aha! Novoskibersk. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, the speed at which I can tune the radio. It's so fast. Just Сколько времени я пролежал так, без движения и сознания. That's too authentic. I cannot understand the word you say. Очнулся. В голове мелькнуло жизнь. И сразу решил, надо пробираться к своим. Поднялся, сделал шаг. Делал шаг. No! There will be no jello shark. And as if by magic... I tell you what, before I head on through here to what I'm sure is inevitable excitement and rapture, I shall end this episode. 
Thank you very much indeed for watching. Like and subscribe as always. Become a minion today. No pay, free games. Mopping of dungeons. All that good stuff. See you next time, everybody. Cheers.